Here's how to add a custom code element to your website page using Elementor. You might need this if you want to, for example, embed a Spotify playlist on your website or a Bands in Town widget or a calendar. So say you get something like this, some code, and you want to put it on your website. Here's how to do that. First off, the prerequisites are you'll need to be logged into your WordPress account. And remember, through BookLive, you can get a free WordPress account. Just reach out to us. And then we need to find the page where you would like to embed that code on. So we're going to go to the WordPress dashboard, log in, and then go to the pages. I've created an example one here called Calendar. And so hover over the page that you would like to add it to or add a new page if that's what you're trying to do and then click Edit with Elementor. That's that link right here. Once you do that, the Elementor page editor will load. Could take up to 30 seconds or so. And then on the left-hand side in the Elementor area, you can actually search for a widget and type either the word code or HTML, and then you'll see this specific widget called HTML and this looks like a couple brackets with a slash through it. That is correct. And then you'll drag that custom code, the HTML module, where you would like it on your page and just drop it. And that'll show this little brackets with the slash in it indicating it's a code block. And then on the left, the editor will open asking for that specific code. So let's start with the Spotify playlist. I'm going to go back to the Spotify tab and I'm grabbing the code here. This is the code that Spotify is giving us, so I'm gonna hit copy. That will copy it to your clipboard. Go back to Elementor, and then right click and paste right there. And you'll see that embeds the code and shows you a preview of what this will actually do. You can go to the advanced and you can you know, change the width, change any of the random um, things that you might wanna adjust like padding and then once you're done go ahead and hit update the pink update and that will spin and save now if you wanted to change it let's say I wanted to change this Spotify to the calendar I'm just going to uh, select all using command a delete the code that was there and you go back to Calendly copy the calendar code and then paste that right into this code block right here and that will show the calendar that people can then click and choose a time then make sure to hit update and that will save it and voila you have officially added a piece of custom code to your website